Yo, how's it going everyone? DIY channel back with another video and today I'll be showing you guys how to bleed your brakes. All right, so for first step for me is I'm gonna go ahead and bleed the right rear wheel and the left rear wheel over there. Sometimes the bleeding procedure might be different for certain cars. Just go ahead and make sure um, and check what your bleeding procedure is and then bleed it that way. So if you're set to go start at the front right wheel, then go ahead and start right there and just follow the sequence it gives you. But mine is right rear, left rear, front um, right and then front left another thing before i get started if you're bleeding your brakes on your c5 vet 2 um the bleeding procedure is different from the 97 through 2000 ones and then the 01 through 04 so i will have a, a chart showing the bleeding procedure right up here all right so before we lift the car up let's go ahead and take these lug caps off and then loosen our lug nuts a little bit so that way the wheel can come off once it's up in there all right, once you got it up and supported, as you can see, I got the jack right there underneath, underneath the rear cross member. Jack stands right next to it. What we're gonna do next is actually come to the front over here. And we're gonna go ahead and chalk off the front wheel so that way the car can't roll forward in any um, weird case that does. So yeah, just take a piece of wood like this and just slide it under to get the wheels. And I actually have a pan in the way, so let me remove that first. And then I'll have these chalked up. Now the car is safely supported, let's go ahead and remove the wheel. All right, so now that the wheel's off, you can see back here where the, uh, behind the caliper. See this right here? I went ahead and took the cap off already, this thing right here. But that's your bleeder valve. So just go ahead and take your cap off. And I believe the nut's gonna be a 10 millimeter. I'm not too sure, so I'm gonna verify that right now, but yeah. That's your bleeder cap. All right, so next you're gonna connect your brake bleeder. And I actually custom made this one. I use some clear um, tubing and then I use a water bottle, which I put a hole at the top of, filled the bottom up with a little bit of clean brake fluid, stuck the tube into it, into the fluid. And uh, yeah, now you guys have yourself a bleeder kit. Next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and pop the hood. All right. Once you're done with that, just go ahead and open up the hood and then uh, come to where your master cylinder reservoir is, right here. Take the cap off and as you can see, I got some nasty old ass brake fluid in there. So what I'm going to do is actually extract that. And uh, to do that, you can use like a um, like a turkey baster thing to suck it kind of all up. Alright, so once you drained your old nasty fluid out, just go ahead and refill the reservoir. Um, past the max line actually because we're going to bleed the brakes so you want to have it as full as you possibly can have it with uh brand new brake fluid and then we'll go ahead and start the uh, the bleeding procedure all right now we're just going to go ahead and crack the bleeder open remember right tight left loose all right now that we've got the bleeder screw open just come into your car just go ahead and start pressing the brake pedal Let's go ahead and check on it. And as you can see, we are slowly pumping um, brake fluid out. All right, so one thing I forgot to mention was to actually have your brake bleeding um, thing above where your uh, bleeder screw is at. So make sure you have your bottle more at like, like more elevated than the uh, bleeder valve. So that way gravity kind of helps you to bleed it easier. Okay, so another thing you want to do while you're pumping your brakes is like every once in a while, come out here and check the fluid level in the master cylinder and make sure it's not getting low. Like it's kind of getting low right now. So it's going to refill it to the top and then let's keep going. But yeah, if it gets too low and um, it starts sucking in air, you have to redo the whole procedure. So just keep an eye on the level of the fluid and make sure you don't run out. All right, so once you're done breeding and uh, bleeding your brakes on one side, you'll you'll know you're done by um, looking at that brake fluid coming through the line. As you can see, it's um, pretty much like clear with a little tint of yellow, but that's how they look. Um, that's how a new brake fluid looks. And also, you'll see absolutely zero bubbles at all, as you can see throughout my whole line. It's clear almost and is has zero bubbles. So once you're done with that, just go ahead and close your bleeder screw and then 
continue the sequence for the rest of your uh, wheels. All right, so just so you know, when you're bleeding your brakes, you wanna close each bleeder valve after each wheel that you finish. Just make sure it's nice and snug and tight, and then that wheel is done. So just finish all four of your wheels, and then once you're done with that, lower the car back down, and then top off the master cylinder, and you're done bleeding your brakes. So if you found this video helpful and like informative or anything, make sure you like and subscribe, and stay tuned for some more content.